Hi, I'm Rockin' Robin from CookingMexicanRecipes.com and today I am making triple layer mint brownies and they are decadent. So much so that they have become a family tradition in my house. Every year I have to make them for Christmas for my kids or it doesn't seem like Christmas to them. These are not your typical brownies. They have three layers. Our first layer is a traditional moist brownie layer and then I'm going to top it off with a delicious fluffy cream de mint frosting, if you will. I'm going to spread it out and then on top of that I'm going to add a nice layer of melted chocolate chips to finish it off. So first we're going to start with our brownie layer. We have to prepare that first and then get it in the oven, cook it, and then let it cool completely before we add our second layers. So to start with, we're going to add, I have a cup of flour, I'm going to put it in our mixing bowl. I've got a cup of sugar. I've got a half a teaspoon of salt. I've got a cube of butter, which is a half a cup. And I've got four eggs. All You want to make sure that they're beat first. Add that. So basically, we're going to just throw everything in the bowl. And I've got a cup and a half, a little bit over, of chocolate Hershey's syrup. I'm going to scoop that in. Combine that with the mixer. Butter needs to be softened so that it'll mix well. As you can see, there's still some lumps in there. Okay, so now that everything is well mixed, I'm going to pour this into a 9 by 13 dish, which I have right here. And I, didn't, I don't even have to spray any Pam or anything into it. It's fine just the way it is. So I'm going to pour this in. It looks very luscious and creamy already. And I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. And I'm going to spread it out just to make sure it gets into the corners because it's, it's, a pretty, it's pretty thick. Okay, so now I'm going to, I'm going to put, put our brownies into the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes. Okay, let's check those brownies out. I'm going to use a toothpick just to make sure the center is cooked. Okay, not clean. Is the edges kind of pull away from the glass on the on the plate there, and then that's another indication that it's done. All right, our brownies have cooled off, and now we're ready for our second layer. Now we only need three ingredients for our second layer, which include a half a cup of butter. I've got two cups of powdered sugar, and I have some cream de mint, which is just a liqueur. All right, so I'm going to add, add my butter to the bowl first. All right, so I'm going to cream the butter first a little bit. Now we're going to add the cream to mint. I'm going to add three tablespoons. Okay, so now I'm going to mix the butter and the cream de mint together for a little bit. I'm going to add the powdered sugar a little bit at a time so it doesn't clump up. I've whipped the cream de mint layer up so it's nice and fluffy. And now I'm going to put on our second layer. I'm going to put it out here in the middle like this and just kind of spread it out get it all in there. And now I'm going to spread this out last corner over here. Covered. Okay, our, our third layer consists of two ingredients. One cup or six ounces of chocolate chips. And I like to use guitar chips. These are my very favorite and they taste the best in my opinion. So I like to use those. I've got and six tablespoons of butter. That's it. So we're going to put that in a double boiler. By the way, if you don't have one of these, you need to get one. They're great. It's got water in the bottom and Teflon in the middle inside this. And I use it all the time for melting chips, uh, pesto, any number of things. Anyway, so I'm going to put the butter in. And I'm going to measure a cup of chips, which is about six ounces. Put them in the double boiler and heat them up. So now we've got our 
our chocolate melted nicely. Now I'm just gonna let it cool for about five minutes and then we'll be ready to spread it on, on our third layer. My chocolate's been cooling now for about five minutes and so I think it's ready to put on our brownies. So I'm gonna drizzle this really slow, try and cover the whole thing. I'm using a spatula to help get it spread around. I'll try and get it all the way to the edges. This is gonna be delicious. I've had the brownies in the refrigerator to help firm up the layer of chocolate so that we can cut it. Now these are really rich, so you're gonna to wanna to cut them in small pieces. First one's always the toughest to get out. So now for the moment I've been waiting for, I'm gonna try a little bite. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, that is so delicious, you have to try this recipe. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I hope I've encouraged you to try this recipe and maybe start your own tradition with your own family. Thank you for stopping by and visit me on the web. If you have any questions, email me. I'd be happy to answer them.